Hello, this is one black British woman's voice. Bear with me, I know it's very dark, it's a dark night. And I'm actually filming as I'm walking through the park. However, um, I actually wanted to touch on this next subject with a bit more glamour. I just wanted to have, you know, images and stills and stuff, but I just wanted to get this off my chest at this moment. Um, as you can see from the title of the video, this is a warning. So this warning is in relation to the fact that over the well, last few years, or certainly during the emergence of technology such as the camera phone, we've managed to expose white people for their evil shenanigans in the name of racism. We've managed to get racists fired, have whole careers destroyed and students thrown out because if it wasn't for the camera phone, we wouldn't be able to catch them in the process of being racist. Still, there are racists out there that don't seem to think that they are immune from being caught out. So what I'm going to try and explain in this video is this. The primary users of social media, much like the primary people who shoot school, well, not much like, but the primary users of social media are black people. And the reason why the primary users of social media are black people is because traditionally we do not have a voice. Our voice has been squashed you know, just in a park, our voice has been squashed in the name of living in a white supremacist infrastructure. Therefore, we've been made voiceless. And then social media comes along and gives us a resounding gong. And the thing about social media is that social media and camera phones and film footage, of course, are one and the same thing. Now, we as the voiceless use our cameras and put it on the social media, our only vocal outlet to expose racists and racism. Hence the great surge in people absolutely having their racist lives torn apart by being exposed. Okay, if you're finding it difficult to comprehend what I'm talking about, let me give you an example. So school shooters are white and they're white because they're young anemic boys wrapped up in some kind of entitled self-indulgent thought process which tells them that I'm not being listened to so I'm going to go into a school and wipe out a whole bunch of kids. You see where I'm going here. School shooters or schools are the school shooters primary target and or primary mode of expressing themselves and social media is the primary mode that way that black people express themselves. Get it? So we film you and we put you on social media and all hell breaks loose. And so this is a kind warning to white people. Please understand in this age of social media that you will be continually exposed. And why don't you do us all a favor by biting your tongue and keeping the acidic hate within you instead of outing it? Do you know what I mean? Just keep your mouth shut. Let that hate and bar whirl up and whiz and formulate and corrode your heart and your arteries and maybe even enlarge that aneurysm in your brain. Keep it tucked with inside of you and instead let it destroy you from the inside out. No one cares. No one cares that you're feeling threatened. No one cares. We're just going to get on with the job of living our lives and essentially being the next generation of people who are next generation how can i word this the rest of us just want to get on with our lives and focus on the fact that our fertility rates are doing splendidly thank you do you know so yeah a kind warning keep it in keep all the racism and the hate inside because we'll just film you and put you on social media and utterly destroy you <laughs> this is one black british woman's voice and i'm out <laughs>